we came up with this theme because during the pandemic um, and a very important moment where a lot of different crises, global crises interrelated, the climate crisis, the public health emergency and social inequity. And the question of where our food comes from became eminently important during that time. So in the exhibition, we try to reimagine planetary food systems relative to um, climate change and uh, the idea that architecture can and may become a vessel for um, understanding in different light how food can be produced. Uh, but we also understand food both literally, so how food can become a part of production in urban environments, local food production, self-sufficiency. But at the same time, we understand architecture itself as being food. How can architecture decompose, decay, and become food itself? How can resources be recirculated? So we believe very firmly that the recirculation of resources in a planetary scale is key to planetary habitability, and uh, the understanding of circular economies is vital to that effect. Th there are a lot of discussions in architectural debates and cycles today on how to understand an architecture that does not rely on the logic of extractivism and how to understand spaces um, that are not just objectified, that become things that architects imagine as objects, but are understood as life forms in a cycle of production, in a life cycle from the moment that materials are extracted to the moment that they are uh, deposited back again to landfills. So to understand this cycle, we are implementing and uh, researching on different ways, means, and projects where that life cycle can be rethought of and reimagined. We thought of that, we thought of the exhibition in collaboration um, together, not just as a curatorial project where we invite different architects to do their own theme, but we have a kind of concept of uh, what we have titled a metabolic home that um, is consisted of different rooms that correspond to domestic environments. Like for example, we have a kitchen and a dining room and a garage and a terrace and a toilet and a garden. And all of these spaces are interrelated in terms of their input and output, the resources that they take and the resources that they give away. So all the, all the spaces are interconnected. Um, what happens in the kitchen um, goes to the dining room. What happens to the dining room becomes compost for the garden. So we are trying to connect these different kinds of activities to offer an alternative paradigm in the built environment where uh, resources can be recirculated and we can you know, create less waste or no waste if that is ever uh, going to become possible. And um, each one of these rooms um, of these metabolic processes were assigned to an architect to build their version of a kitchen. So in the kitchen, we have um, the architect Andres Jaque, a Spanish architect who also works in New York, Office for Political Innovation, and uh, they're doing an interspecies kitchen where different kinds of herbs and uh, resources are becoming food and um, we have other architects in the other section. We have Estonian architects in the terrace. Uh, they are reworking on their concept on the Dartsa wall. Um, so they, are, they have a balcony where they're growing different kinds of vegetables. Um, and we also have different kinds of sections in the exhibition on different scales. So if the metabolic home addresses the scale of the body, habitation, the human uh, home, which is, let's say, the mesoscale, the middle scale. We also have a, a curatorial theme called From Brick to Soil, which addresses the micro scale of materials, how we can understand, reimagine materials as resources that can be uh, digested, uh, reused, um, grown, understood in different light. Um, and we also have the section Food and Geopolitics, which addresses the territorial scale. So in a map of a city, in an urban environment, in the realm of a macroscopic scale, how can these resources be uh, regulated and imagined in, um, in a logic that doesn't apply to the logic of extractivism?